Russia was in the middle of a constitutional crisis when the president, Boris Yeltsin, ordered the army to shell Moscow's White House, the building housing parliament, on October 4, 1993. At the instigation of defiant lawmakers, Moscow had just witnessed the deadliest street fighting since the revolution of 1917. In the end, the immediate crisis was resolved with the use of military force. After the Soviet Union collapsed in December 1991, Russian President Boris Yeltsin launched a set of radical economic reforms aimed at dismantling the command economy and swiftly creating free market conditions. The parliament, the Supreme Soviet, opposed the quick transformation of the economy. Tensions also grew over the balance of power between the legislative and executive branches. The disagreements escalated on September 21, 1993, when Yeltsin decided to dissolve parliament and call new elections, saying it was necessary to overcome the state crisis. Legislators responded by barricading themselves in the White House. They voted to impeach Yeltsin for violating the Constitution. In the meantime, thousands of people marched in Moscow's streets to support parliament and protest against unpopular reforms. Traffic was blocked, barricades were constructed, and the first clashes between police and anti-Yeltsin protesters erupted. After the demonstrators attacked a local television studio and the mayor's office, Yeltsin declared a state of emergency in the capital. The conflict came to a head on October 4, 1993, when Yeltsin ordered the army to take up positions around the White House. Electricity, water, and telephones were cut off. Yeltsin ordered a military assault. Tanks shelled the building. It took just a few hours before soldiers managed to arrest the leaders of the resistance. A political crisis that had brought the country to the brink of civil war had been diffused. In the end, according to official figures, 187 people died and 437 were wounded in the clashes. Non-governmental sources estimated that up to 2,000 people died during the crisis. Three months later, a new constitution was approved, allowing Yeltsin to create a strong presidency that exists in Russia to this day.